The vibrant city of Rio de Janeiro, nestled between lush mountains and a stunning coastline, is without a doubt Brazil's shining jewel of the South Atlantic coast. Welcome to Destinations Worth Wandering. In this video, we'll explore some of Rio's iconic landmarks, from the breathtaking heights of Sugarloaf Mountain to the historic Arcos de Lapa. We'll dive into the flavors of local cuisine, experience the electric atmosphere of Maracana Stadium, and become immersed in Rio's world-famous carnival. So come with me to explore Rio's unique blend of natural beauty, culture, and excitement in one of the world's most breathtaking destinations. The historic Sugarloaf cable car system is not only one of the oldest in the world, but also renowned for being one of the safest. The Sugarloaf Mountain is named for its resemblance to sugar loaves used in the 18th century for molding sugar and has become a cultural and historical symbol of Rio de Janeiro. The cable car system was the first of its kind in the world when it was inaugurated and began operation in 1912, revolutionizing the concept of urban cable cars and has been a beloved attraction ever since. The journey begins at Praia Vermelha, or Red Beach, with the first cable car ascending to Moro da Urca, 721 feet above sea level. This initial leg offers stunning views of Rio's coastline and the lush greenery of Urca Hill, setting the stage for the spectacular sights to come. Upon reaching Moro da Urca, the midpoint provides panoramic vistas of Guanabara Bay, Niteroi, and the vast Atlantic Ocean. This stop allows for exploration and admiration of the surrounding beauty. Several dining options are available at this summit, including one with a terrace that offers an excellent vantage point of the bay and city. The second stage continues from Moro da Urca to the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain, which rises 1,732 feet above sea level. During this ascent, passengers are treated to a 360-degree panorama showcasing Rio's essence. Below, Copacabana Beach stretches along the shoreline, while the cityscape merges with the natural beauty of the ocean and mountains. The Sugarloaf Cable Cars is a journey through the heart of Rio de Janeiro, revealing views that are as captivating as the city itself. It offers an experience that is both exhilarating and serene, while providing a unique perspective on one of the world's most vibrant cities. The Arcos de Lapa, also known as the Carioca Aqueduct, is a stunning structure that gives insight into the city's colonial past and its evolution into a bustling urban center. Constructed in the mid-18th century, between 1723 and 1744, this aqueduct was originally built to serve a vital purpose, to bring fresh water from the Carioca River to the growing population of Rio de Janeiro. It was a remarkable engineering feat for its time, showcasing the ingenuity of colonial Brazil. It replaced an earlier, less efficient wooden structure, and its completion marked a significant improvement in the city's infrastructure. One of the most striking features of the Arcos de Lapa is its grand scale. It boasts 42 majestic arches, stretching over a length of approximately 886 feet and rising to a height of about 58 feet. This architectural marvel not only served a practical function, but also became a symbol of Rio's resilience and progress. Today, its towering arches serve a very different purpose. In the late 19th century, the aqueduct was repurposed as a bridge for the famous Santa Teresa tram, which still carries passengers across its length, offering a unique way to experience Rio's historic charm. The aqueduct is located in one of Rio's most lively neighborhoods, renowned for its vibrant nightlife, with an array of samba clubs, bars, and restaurants that come alive after dark. The Arcos de Lapa itself is often illuminated at night, casting a beautiful glow over the area. It stands as a literal bridge between the city's rich past and its dynamic present, inviting exploration of the stories and experiences that make Rio de Janeiro such a captivating place. Rio's vibrant culture extends to their rich and diverse culinary scene. Personally, I think one of the best parts of traveling somewhere new is getting the chance to indulge in some of the local flavors, and Rio has some pretty delicious looking dishes that are worth mentioning. First up is moqueca, a flavorful seafood stew that's a staple in Brazilian cuisine. Originating from the northeastern regions, moqueca is made with a combination of fresh fish or shrimp, coconut milk, tomatoes, onions, garlic, and cilantro. What makes it special is the slow cooking method in a clay pot, 
which enhances the flavors. The dish reflects Brazil's Afro-Brazilian heritage, particularly the influence of African and indigenous cooking techniques. Next is açaí, a superfood that has taken the world by storm, but holds deep roots in Brazilian culture. The açaí berry, native to the Amazon rainforest, is often served as a smoothie bowl topped with granola, bananas, and honey. Originally a staple for indigenous communities, açaí is revered for its energy-boosting properties and nutritional value. In Rio, it's a popular treat at beachside kiosks, perfect for a refreshing treat after a day in the sun. For all you carnivores out there, churrasco is an unmissable experience. This Brazilian barbecue is a meat lover's dream, featuring a variety of grilled meats, from beef to chicken, cooked on skewers over an open flame. The tradition of churrasco dates back to the gauchos of southern Brazil, who would grill meats over wood fires during their long cattle drives. Today it's a social event, often enjoyed with friends and family at churrascarias, where waiters serve endless cuts of meat. And finally, let's raise a glass to the caipirinha, Brazil's national cocktail. Made with cachaca, a sugarcane spirit, lime, sugar, and ice, this refreshing drink embodies the laid-back vibe of Rio. The caipirinha's roots trace back to the sugar plantations of colonial Brazil, where cachaca was first produced. Today, it's a symbol of Brazilian hospitality, perfect for sipping on a warm evening while soaking in the city's vibrant nightlife. In the heart of Rio de Janeiro lies a monument to one of Brazil's greatest passions, football, or soccer as it's known in America. Maracana Stadium, a colossal structure steeped in history, is a symbol of national pride and cultural identity. Opened in 1950 to host the FIFA World Cup, the stadium has witnessed countless moments of footballing brilliance, igniting the dreams of millions. In Rio, football isn't just a sport, it's a way of life. The roar of the crowd, the rhythm of the samba drums, and the sea of vibrant colors create an atmosphere unlike any other. A match at Maracana is a sensory experience where the passion of the fans blends seamlessly with the artistry of the players on the field. For the people of Rio, football represents hope, joy, and an unbreakable connection to their heritage. For many, attending a football match at Maracana is often found to be a highlight of their visit to Rio. It offers a rare glimpse into the soul of the city, where locals come together to celebrate their shared love for the game. The stadium, with its grandiose architecture and rich history, serves as a reminder of Brazil's enduring legacy in the world of football. Whether it's a heated derby between local rivals or a thrilling international match, the energy inside the stadium is electric, leaving a lasting impression on all who witness it. As mentioned, the stadium itself is saturated in history. A tour of Maracana reveals the stories behind some of football's most iconic moments, including Pele's 1,000th goal and the legendary 1950 World Cup final, where Brazil's heartbreaking loss to Uruguay left an indelible mark on the nation. The stadium's museum is a must-visit, showcasing memorabilia that chronicles the evolution of Brazilian football and its impact on global sports culture. To understand Rio de Janeiro in its truest form, Maracana Stadium provides an immersion into the heartbeat of a city that lives and breathes football. Rio de Janeiro's carnival is a vibrant celebration, pulsating with the energy of millions who gather each year to experience one of the world's most famous cultural festivals. Held annually in the days leading up to Lent, usually in February or early March, carnival transforms the city into a kaleidoscope of colors, music, and dance. The cultural significance of carnival in Rio is immense. It's a time when social boundaries blur and the city unites in a collective expression of freedom, creativity, and passion. The highlight of the festivities is the Grand Parade at the Samba Drum, where Samba schools from various neighborhoods compete with elaborate floats, dazzling costumes, and hypnotic Samba beats. These performances are the culmination of months of preparation, reflecting the unique heritage and spirit of each community. In addition to the Samba Drum, street parties known as blocos take over every corner of Rio, offering a more informal and accessible way to experience the celebration. Each bloco has its own theme and music, creating an endless variety of experiences throughout the city. From the lively beats of Copacabana to the bohemian vibes of Santa Teresa, there's a bloco for every taste. Rio's Carnival is a festival where food, drink, and dance flow freely, symbolizing a temporary escape from the routines of daily life. It's a cultural phenomenon that brings people together in a shared sense of joy and community. Thanks for watching. 
Until next time, keep exploring those destinations worth wandering.